Okay, standard English, do a vertical scan. I see commas, long dashes, and a semicolon. I'm going to check the semicolon first. Generations of Mystery and Horror Writers, semicolon. Well, that's not going to be correct. Have been influenced by the dark. So there's no need for any punctuation, a long dash, a comma. It's just Generations of Mystery and Horror Writers have been. No punctuation between the subject and the verb. Okay, standard English, quick vertical scan. I've got not aerobic. I've got a period, comma, and a semicolon. So right away, I can eliminate the semicolon and the period. They're exactly the same answer. So it's either going to be not aerobic or not comma aerobic. While one requires oxygen and one does not, comma, aerobic and anaerobic respiration. So this first part is my dependent clause. And that's going to be separated by the comma. And then aerobic and anaerobic respiration are both forms of cellular respiration. That's my main or independent clause. Okay, standard English, I have a comma, but, and then other dependent clause punctuations. I'm going to check the comma, but more often than not, that's correct. So human-made fibers used in clothes and many other consumer products are more durable than most natural plant fibers. That's an independent clause. Comma, but. The manufacture of synthetic fibers requires toxic chemical solvents that can pollute air and water. Pollute air and water, that's another independent clause. I need my comma, but that's the correct answer. Okay, standard English, I've got exclamations, periods, periods, question marks. Uh, okay, let's take a look. Emperor penguins don't waddle out of the ocean. They launch themselves at such a high speed that they travel up to two meters before landing. How they are able to move so fast. Then it looks like a period, a layer, because we have a new sentence starting with a capital letter. So are they able, so how are they able to move so fast? Yeah, we're going to ask a question here. It's not going to be a statement and not an explanation. So D is the correct answer. Okay, standard English, quick vertical scan. I see I've got semicolons, colons, commas, no commas. Let's see what's going on on the independent dependent clause structures here. Emperor Ashoka ruled the Maurya Empire in South Asia from roughly 270 to 232. Now I'm going to read for independent clauses up to the punctuation and then after. He is known for enforcing a moral code called the Law of Piety. That's the main clause, which established the sanctity of animal life. That's the dependent clause. So here I'm probably not going to have no punctuation, right? Because it will be the animal life, the just treatment. And that's not right. Which establishes the sanctity of animal life, comma, the just treatment of the elderly, comma, and the abolition of the slave trade. Yeah, that is a list. It looks like a one. One would be here. Two. And three. So perhaps it's just going to be a comma. Let's look at that option. Which establish the sanctity of animal life, comma, the just treatment of the elderly, comma, and the abolition of the slave trade. There's no need for a colon. This list is not going to have a colon after life because the sanctity of animal life is the first element in the list. So that colon wouldn't be properly placed for the list. It's not going to be an independent clause afterward. The just treatment of the elderly and the abolition of the slave trade, that is, you know, by itself just a dependent clause. So I can't have a semicolon and there won't be any no punctuation. That's not correct either.